Chosen family, what's up, man? USCJ here. It's the top of the morning. It's the top of the morning. Listen, I hope everybody is getting ready to get up, get out, and make some things happen this morning. Listen, we got to talk about who the defensive breakout player of the year will possibly be. I think it's going to be Romello Hyatt. Um, look, he he appears to be healthy now. You guys know he had surgery on his shoulder. Um, he was recovering from that. Didn't really participate in the spring. But I think that USC um, hit the style of defense, Coach Alex Grinch defense, the scheme that they run. I think Romello Height will be a breakout player. I want to talk about him. Uh, I went back and watched the spring game from last year. Not this year, but last year. Man, he had some great things he did. I want to show you a couple of highlights from that. But look, Romello Height, man, he was, when he came out, he was a four-star prospect, um, big-time prospect. And uh, one of the things that they said about him, he was one of the most in intriguing prospects when he came out. Extremely explosive off that edge. Extremely. You guys will see it. Um, I mean, he he uh, hits that hits that, that edge and then he hits it and go and gets that quarterback. He attacks that quarterback very, very quickly. And um, look, if he stays healthy, man, he can be an absolute problem. We'll take a look at his film real quick and see exactly what I'm talking about. These guys have been working out, and as you see here, Romello Hyde has been putting in the work as well, but he appears to be extremely, extremely healthy right now. When you look at some of the numbers, these guys have been posting all kinds of incredible numbers, and Romello Hyde is right there as far as the, the numbers. Let's take a look at some of those. As you guys know, these guys have been doing the summer workouts, but look at all of the guys that uh, Romello Hyde is in the same group as some of these guys. Look at Damani Jackson at the 23.5. You see uh, Zach Branch there, 22.4. But then look at Romillo Hyde at 21.9. I mean, this guy was absolutely flying, but he's in there with good. He's in there with good, uh, with good company. You got Caleb Bullock at 21.3, Makai Lemon 21.3. But uh, he's the out of all the guys on the line, he's in there with guys like the safeties and the cornerbacks and receivers, and so he's testing out very, very well right now. And uh, look, I think he's healthy, and I think he's going to be straight up goal. And as you see there, there's a picture. Um, you know, when, when he came out, as I stated, they said he was undersized. Well, you know what? It, it don't look like he's undersized anymore. It looked like he's put on the weight. It looked like he's physically uh, strong. He looked like an absolute freak. Um, you guys hit me in the comments. We're going to take a look at some footage from last spring. Um, Romillo Height, you know, it, it was straight up go time with him. And I was talking to somebody, somebody uh, about Romello Height when he was at Auburn. You guys know he transferred from Auburn. And one of the things that someone told me is that he, he caused absolute havoc on quarterbacks. And you see him here. He's, he has the experience. This was against Penn State. I believe this was his freshman year. Um, you see him there. It looks like they had him at the, I guess it's at the middle linebacker slash edge. But they, they moved him all around, man. But you're talking about a guy that has great, great potential. And then you see him one more time here, but we're going to take a look at some of these highlights he has. But uh, we're talking about a gifted guy, a guy who will come off the edge, a guy who has experience. All we need him to do is absolutely stay healthy. All right, this is Romillo Height. This is from last spring. Let me back this up just a little bit. I want you guys to see exactly some of the things that he does. He's going to be number two on defense. Watch that tackle right there. Watch how quickly, watch how he uses his hands, but then watch how quickly he comes in. I know this is not the best footage, but watch him here, up top. Watch him. Fights off the tackle, still comes in and makes the tackle. That's for middle height right there. Watch this play here. This will clearly, this next one will clearly be a sack on Caleb Williams. Watch how he uses his hands and he gets in. That would have been a sack right there for Romillo height. We're going to take a look at this footage one more time. Let it back up real quick, but watch him. See him here making that tackle? That's for Melo Hyatt. I think he will be a factor if he stays healthy. Long, provided he stays healthy, Romillo Hyatt is going to be a guy coming off that edge. Um, and I think it's going to be straight up go time. It's going to be, you know, this this edge, you know, when you talk about defensive end, you got Anthony Lucas, you got Jack Sullivan, you got Solo. When you're talking about the rush in, the edge, man, it's going to be a straight up battle. And we're going to go over some of those guys that we got. So you guys hit me in the comments. What's your thoughts on Romillo Height uh, being a breakout player of the year? As you guys know, as I mentioned about the edge position, um, defensive end, we have 
Anthony Lucas, Jack Sullivan solo. But when the edge, talking about the edge position, we got Jamil Muhammad. You guys know, if you watch this channel, I'm very, very high on Jamil Muhammad. Um, however, Romelo Height plays that same position. Also, we have the freshman Sam Green that's playing that same position. So you're talking about a straight up battle um, with the edge position. And look, man, and USC now has depth that we've never seen. We haven't seen this type of depth in a long time. And if you look at every position, even if we go on to look at the linebacker position, you got Rajon Davis, you got Tacky Curtis, you got Mason Cobb, uh, you got Eric Gentry, you got Shane Lee, you got Garrison Madden. We got guys that now can fit this position and have major depth right now and major battles that's getting ready to take place in approximately three weeks. We have this depth uh, that's going, I mean, going to be on display right now. So if I had to pick one player, that one player is going to be, it's going to, it's going to be Romelo Height to come off that edge. Romelo Height has the experience. Um, he has the background. He has the potential. And as uh, one of the articles I was reading, uh, he is one of the most intriguing players um, on this roster. I mean, he is. He has that potential. So look, you guys hit me in the comment section. It's going to be bat a battle, big time battle. Rush in. Uh, provided he stays healthy and I'm gonna pick him to be my breakout player now let me let me say this the way it works is a championship team they have break they have players that are uh, going to be in the rotation so you're talking about guys going to be in and out to keep guys fresh Jamil Muhammad Sam Green Romelo Height these guys are going to be in and out uh, same way with the other side on the defensive end I think Anthony Lucas Jack Sullivan all these guys solo you want to keep guys fresh in and out just to keep championship level type of football, man. Look, you guys hit me in the comments. Let me know what you think. USCJ32 on Instagram. USCJ32 on Twitter. Everybody stay blessed. Fight on, fight on, fight on.